We explain the 1918 World Series. The 1918 season had been directly impacted by World War I. Many of the team rosters had been cut down as players and managers like Grover Cleveland Alexander and Christy Matheson joined the fight. The war killed eight players from the major leagues and three from the Negro Leagues. The worker fight law shut down minor league teams all over the country as players went to work in factories, and the baseball season was shortened to Labor Day. Players also fundraised for the war. In this environment, the World Series would feature the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago Cubs. The eventual Red Sox Series victory would rest on pitching. Babe Ruth would pitch a shutout in Game 1, and then win Game 4, having increased his scoreless World Series innings to 29. Carl Mays, Sad Sam Jones, and Bullet Joe Bush also delivered pitching victories against the Cubs, but the Cubs also brought their A game with Hippo Vaughn, Claude Hendricks, and Lefty Tyler. Boston's pitchers combined for 1.70 ERA and Chicago 1.04. The pitching froze the bats so much that neither team scored more than three runs in a single game. The Red Sox won the series with only nine total runs, but once again money issues played a crucial role. The Cubs held their game at White Sox Comiskey Park due to the chance to get more gate receipts, and it's these gate receipts that led to the big issues of this year and the years beyond. Before Game 5 began at Fenway, the Boston players went on strike over the new formula of gate bonuses. World Series players used to be paid from 60% of the ticket gate from games 1 through 4. Now the commissioner set a set payment and decided the pool would also be split with the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th place team in each league. It was a way for owners to continue to undercut the players. The strike ended with an appeal to the players' patriotism. The striking Red Sox were punished by not being given their World Series victory emblems until 1974. Many say this event would actually feed right into the 1919 Black Sox scandal as the Cubs were accused of throwing the series 4-2 for gambler cash to make up for lost gate revenues. This series would see the first baseball playing of the National Anthem. Hall of Famers were Hooper and Ruth. 